lucky to have these girls right close who came and spoke to us. So. <laughs> Okay, um, next we have Jeff Hartle Road. Okay. Hello everybody, uh, nice to see you all. Uh, my name is Jeff Hartle Road and I'm running for County Clerk, Recorder, and Registrar of Voters. Uh, it's kind of interesting, we've had a couple of candidates already talk about election integrity and the like. Um, that is uh, one of the responsibilities and why I got into the race. Um, it's a big title, it's a big job, it's actually three jobs. A lot of people don't know that it encompasses the clerk's office, so if you've ever had to get a marriage license, a uh, death certificate, anything of that nature, you get it through the clerk's office. If you bought property, filed a trust, uh, done anything with easements of that nature, it's done with the recorder's office. And the third, most importantly, is if you voted, that's with the registrar of voters' office. So those three, those three things are encompassed in this office. <coughs> It's also, it's a nonpartisan office, as it should be, because really all of us as citizens should care about how our vote, if it's counted, it's not diluted, is it fair? Uh, this county, countywide, represents almost a million residents and over 500,000 voters in 10 cities. It's also similar to a family Bible in that the office is the repository of the county's history. Because if you didn't have it, who would know that you own that property you bought? Who would know your birth certificate? All these things, it's the repository of the county's history. But it also manages your future because it manages the whole voting process from beginning to end. So it manages voter rolls, it qualifies candidates, measures, and recalls. These petitions over here, if they're Ventura-based, the signatures are approved by this office. Um, it's responsible for our ballots from beginning to end. There's over 50 ballots created in this county for elections. They create them, they, they distribute them, they manage them, collect them, count them. It hires and trains election workers. That's a seasonal kind of thing every two years, but they hire 600 employees for this, for an election. They gotta train them, they gotta hire them. They have to establish the protocols. They also establish the protocols for what many people I think here do is they go and observe. You have the right to observe different aspects of the election and they do that training and establish the protocols for that to make sure it's conducted appropriately. So this position is critical, must be run by a leader who's got the skills and experience to ensure our elections are transparent and unimpeachable. But before I tell you about my qualifications for this, I'd like to say a few words about how I got here. Because I've been in here four weeks, so it deserves a little explanation. Uh, like many of you, I've looked at our county, our state, and our nation, and where it's going, and the poor leadership, and not been pleased. I've spent a lot of time behind a computer or in front of a TV, getting angry and mad, saying, when's somebody going to do something about this? <laughs> we have patriots like Tim who did. And so over four weeks ago, just over four weeks ago, three elected officials, uh, the assessor, the treasurer, and the county clerk all turned in their retirement papers three days before the cutoff. Okay, three days before the cutoff. Coincidentally, the successor was identified, all of them, their number twos, were identified and endorsed. And surprisingly, all their paperwork was ready, all their websites and campaigns ready to go. This was planned. And as a citizen, my wife is been working with, with uh, this organization, and she had booked the person retiring, Mr. Lund, to appear. And he called up and said, I'm not coming, I'm retiring. So my wife said, Jeff, you can do this job. You know, you should do it. So we spent 12 hours, not completely talking, but 12 hour span of talking. We said, let's do it. Um, because we said, you know, we need more integrity from our elected officials. Where is the people's voice in this? I said, enough's enough. I'm tired of cronyism and anointing of a successor. Yeah. Officials should not, not be in the practice of establishing a succession plan for elected officials. Why are voters being left out of this? When you're in a private company, I've worked in private companies my whole life, you always have a succession plan, even at a departmental level, because that's a responsible thing to do in case you, you leave. 
But when it's an elected position, it is not your responsibility to de develop a succession plan that excludes anybody who's eligible or wants to become a citizen candidate. So that's why I jumped in. Uh, one little other short little story, because they are the gatekeeper to all the election process here. Okay, so when I decided I'm gonna run, guess where I had to go? County clerk's office to file. Plunk down my $2,200 to file, non-refundable. There you go. Okay, I'm in, great. Mr. Hargill Road, would you like to file a candidate statement? Well, of course I would, because if, you know, people need to know me. And uh, it's optional, of course, you don't have to. And I said, well, of course I have to, because when I'm running against the assistant city clerk, they gotta know who I am. Well, Mr. Hargill Road, that's a, a county-wide position, so to get that 250 words in the sample ballot, that would be $6,900. So, yeah, got, got off, yeah. There's different, different, <laughs> inexpensive. But basically, I was in for almost 10 grand uh, just, just to do it. That's fine, but the point is, is they're the gatekeepers of so many things that get kicked off, whether it be a petition, whether that be you filing, whether that be the language uh, that's in a petition. And look, some of this is, is good because you don't want situations to uh, occur where uh, anyway, where people are saying things that aren't true. Anyway, I, I need to fast forward here. I'm, I'm on a meet and greet schedule versus a time like this. Anyway, I'm a CPA, uh, 10 years uh, doing public and private audits, 30 years as a senior executive at Universal Pictures, Sony Pictures, and Verizon. Uh, ran worldwide uh, uh, operations, ran the studios, had over 400 employees, $200 million operating budget, I'm also a farmer, 75 acres of citrus and avocados. Um, I worked along with farmers, the plant crew, I know the packing houses, it's the third largest industry in this county, and uh, it's enriched my life and I want the commitment, this commitment to serve this county. Um, ballot, ballots are a big deal, okay? We got 500,000 going out in 21 days. They should all be treated like cash. They're worth a lot of money. Even if you said they were 100 bucks, that's $50 million that would be circulating in the next 21 days. So I'll be your banker, auditor, private sector experience executive. We'll tighten the screws on this very loose system. And I will not stand for any automation that just processes information, bad information faster. So I've got a whole a number of things I want to do as far as voter rolls. That's really one of the most important things. And Sacramento has pushed a lot of stuff downstream we can push stuff back upstream with, with the appropriate uh, working with the Board of Supervisors, et cetera. So, sorry I'm out of time, but I'm Jeff Hargill Road, uh, running for a county clerk and recorder and registrar of voters. Thank you. Yeah.